now we are going to learn concepts of acids and bases there are three different concepts about acids and bases today we will discuss the concept which is called arrhenius concept now the introduction about arrhenius in 1787 arrhenius a swedish chemist gave concept of acid and bases according to him acid is a substance which gives h positive ion in a aqueous solution and base is a substance which gives oh negative ions in the aqueous solution or water first of all we will study how acids dissolve into water for this purpose we have selected an acid which is called hydrochloric acid according to arrhenius as we learned acids are those substances which gives h positive ions in the aqueous solution how this phenomena takes place for example this is the hydrochloric acid and here we can watch the lewis structure here what we can watch here we can watch the lewis structure and the single covalent bond is formed between the hydrogen chloride single covalent bond is formed between the hydrogen chloride and this bond formed is called a polar covalent bond it's not very much strongest because hcl is present in the gaseous state when hcl is dissolved into water what happened the hydrogen ion releases its proton sorry the hydrogen ion releases its electron and separate it as a h positive ions in the aqueous solution on the other end the the shared pair of electron is attracted towards the chlorine by gaining one electron it will be converted into chloride ion and remains in a aqueous solution both hydrogen ions and chloride ions they move freely in a aqueous solution and this way ionization of acids takes place and they give freely moving proton in the aqueous solution and this is the definition according to arrhenius concept and acid is a substance which gives h positive ion in water or aqueous solution so this is called the chemistry of ionization according to arrhenius now we are taking another example which is given in our textbook defining and explaining the general reaction here we are giving with a acid which is h a when we dissolve this acid into water the h positive ion and the a negatively charged a ion they are separated from each other and h a symbolic acid on dissolution or dissolving into water give freely moving proton which is the property of an acid according to an arrhenius now we are considering different examples of acids according to arrhenius concept we are provided with different acids which are hydrochloric acid we can watch here hydrochloric acid when we dissolve this into water it gives h positive ions and chloride negative ion and we learned that production of a substance uh, of proton in an aqueous medium is termed as an acid while HNO3 we dissolve that into water it gives h positive ion aqueous solution and nitrate ion in the aqueous solution so it is an acid because it produces h positive ion or proton in the aqueous solution CH3COOH it is an example of organic acid this is the first acid which is called acetic acid and known by the name of vinegar when we dissolve this into water what happened it gives us h positive ions and acetate ion hydrogen cyanide when we dissolve into water it gives h positive ions and cyanide ions and we learned that production of h positive ion in water by any substance that is called the acid formation according to arrhenius that substance is termed as an acid i hope it will be clear to you